Hey everyone, I'm Sharon Vakin for CNET.com and I'm here to show you how to stream media from your computer to your TV using your Xbox. This will let you access movies, music, and photos on your PC through your Xbox interface and it's pretty easy to set up. First, connect your Xbox to your home network. You can do this with either a wired or wireless connection as long as it's hooked up to the same network as your computer. Now on your Xbox, go to My Xbox, then head over to System Settings and Network Settings. Choose the type of network connection and hit Test Xbox Live Connection. Let it do its thing and if it's successful, you'll get a confirmation that you're connected. Xbox has this weird thing where you have to be logged into Xbox Live to stream from your computer, so go ahead and do that. Now it's time to set things up on your computer. For you guys on a PC, it's pretty simple. Since Microsoft makes Xbox, they made sure it plays really nicely with Windows. Download and install the latest version of Windows Media Player. Right now, I'm using Windows Media Player 11. Launch the player and go to the Library menu and select Add to Library. Here you'll be able to add folders you want your Windows Media Player and Xbox to access. These settings will depend on where you store your media. Then go back to the library menu and select Media Sharing. And check the box next to Share Media. That's it. We'll talk about what to do next on your Xbox in a second, but first here's how to get things set up on a Mac. Okay, Microsoft did not make things easy for you guys, but I did find a pretty good solution. To make your Xbox communicate with your Mac, you'll need an application called Rivet. It's free to try, but 20 bucks for the full license. When you download and install Rivet, you'll see it show up as an icon on your top bar. Click it and go to Preferences. In this screen, you can manage the movies, music, and photos you want to see on your Xbox. You can even select iTunes playlists and your iPhoto library. Rivet isn't very good at transcoding, so make sure your files are in one of these formats. You may need to find a separate program to convert your files, but now your Mac should be ready to go. Okay, now that your computer is set up, you can start streaming on your Xbox. Press the Xbox button on your controller and scroll over to Media. Now just select Video, Music, or Picture Library. When you click one, select your computer, give it a second to load, and that's it. For music, once you start playing a song or playlist, you can press the Xbox button, go to your dashboard, and the music will play in the background. Something you should definitely know is that you can't play DRM-protected content on your Xbox. If you buy your music on iTunes or Amazon, you should be fine. But if your content isn't playing, it's because it's protected, which sucks and might ruin this whole setup for some of you. Now that everything is working, you can kick back, watch your favorite movie, or listen to your favorite playlist within a game. Now if you have any questions about this, ideas for another how-to video, or just want to say what's up, come talk to me on my Facebook page. And you can find more awesome how-to content at howto.cnet.com. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vaknin, and I'll see you on the interwebs.